Hey guys, so we made a video a long time ago, several years ago, where we showed you our equipment on the field. So, you know, one by one. So uh, we'll do the same here with this updated setup. Uh, it's much uh, simpler now and uh, m you know, much more up to date. So we'll go through everything one by one and tell you why we got everything like this and why it's a good setup for uh, imaging. So here we have the mount, which is the AM5. It is currently our main uh, mount for uh, backyard imaging and desert imaging. And it's really great. Uh, we love this mount so much and it's perfect for this refractor here. Uh, it's not too heavy. It's not, it, it fits just fine without any counterweight. So that's, uh, that's the main thing. And uh, yeah, so the, the AM5 is currently our main mount and it's fantastic. So what we also want to talk about is the tripod here. So if you're planning to get the AM5, it doesn't come with the tripod. So if you're going to do that route, just do the bundle. That way you get both of them together because the tripod is really, really useful. It's also made of carbon fiber, which is really nice because that means it's light. Perfect for the AM5. So here we added a tripod extension slash peer extension uh, kind of cage, which rises our mount by this much, which is very, very useful, I would say, because sometimes if you have a bigger telescope or if we use our filter wheel with uh, this setup, then if you reach the meridian, it's going to hit the tripod legs and that's very, very scary. So that's why we went ahead and bought this, uh, this cage here, which rises everything up and makes, every makes all the impacts much less likely to happen. So I would suggest you get the same unless you have a very small telescope and a no filter wheel. But if you do have a filter wheel and a bigger scope, then for sure, don't risk it and get this. It's very useful. So you also want to get a Jackery, uh, a battery really, but we would recommend the Jackery because it is so useful and it's like lightweight. It's got a lot of ports here, the um, adapter port here for the cigarette lighter, a bunch of USB stuff and even a outlet. So. It's really, really helpful and also comes with a flashlight on the side. And the reason why it's so light is because it's a lithium battery. So, um, I mean, you won't be able to take it with you on the plane. <laughs> Not that you'd want to, but you know, it's really, really helpful, especially when you're doing astrophotography. So our main telescope right now is the Ascar FRA 500 still. Uh, we still love this telescope. We have the F3.9 reducer over here. So we go from F5 to F3.9. And uh, I believe our focal length goes from 500 to, I think, 350, which is a nice wide field view. So this telescope is really cool. It's lightweight. It's uh, not too big. And we like the handle on top. It's really useful to have that. I think every telescope should have a handle like that. It makes carrying it around much easier. So another thing we wanted to talk about was the EAF here. So we have the ZW01. And honestly, it's kind of like a lifesaver and a time saver because throughout the night you will come out of focus periodically. And this just kind of reduces the frustrations of that. So definitely worth it. So here's the camera is interesting. This is a QHY 600C, um, which is our um, main camera, I guess, for home. So we have the ASI Air here, yet a QHY camera. So what's happening here? So we use the ASI Air uh, for the power for everything. But for the USB, since the QHY camera will not connect to the SI Air, uh, we connect that to this USB hub here, which has four ports. So uh, we are able to connect from here to uh, the USB here, and then everything else, as for the USB, will go to the hub here. And at the end, uh, this one will go with an extension to our uh, laptop. And if we use a ZW camera, we can just ignore the USB hub and simply connect everything to the SI Air. So I think it's a, a cool uh, addition here. And you also might notice on the ASI Air, uh, some cable management 3D printed uh, things here, which are very, very useful actually for all our cables. So another cool thing that we have on the setup is the auto guider here. So you can also use an off access guider, but we use this guide scope just because it's easier for us. We often change cameras, so it just works better for us. Uh, we're actually using a scope that's super duper old, but that's okay because we just really need it to attach to the auto guider here. Um, so definitely invest in this too. It's very, very helpful. And again, we'll reduce any frustrations that you have throughout the evening. 
You'll also see that we have a pull master here. We're actually using an ASI Air, so we don't really have a use for the pull master. However, because we're using a QHY camera, which is a different brand, um, we use the pull master anyway, and we just keep it with us just in case for that reason. And lastly, we have something we don't always use, but sometimes mostly in summer, which is a dual band filter. So in here, uh, you don't see it right now, but inside there, there is this filter, which is a six nanometer filter. And it is from Ascar, the Color Magic dual band filter. So it's a HA slash O3 filter, which is great for emission nebulae. So in spring it's useless, but in uh, summer and fall, it's really great as well as winter. So we use this almost always. So in short, this setup is, we believe, very, very good in most situations. We can use any camera, you know, DSLR, ZW, QHY, with our SI Air slash USB hub combo. And it's nice to have the pole master just in case. The gate scope is bulky, but we can replace this later for something much smaller. The telescope gives us two very different choices depending on if we attach the reducer or not. So with it, if needed for large nebulae, we can have a much wider field of view and a faster aperture. The mount is perfect for this payload and safe with the extension. It's very nice to have such a portable mount for both home and the desert. So we hope that you enjoyed our walkthrough of our current setup out on the field. Um, hopefully it'll inspire you to get even some items for yourself. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Clear skies.